Alrighty, well, I'm heading home. I got my batteries for the boat. I was over at uh, Battery Distributors Southeast Incorporated. And picked up some new batteries for the boat. And I'm going to put them in the boat right now. Well, I brought these home in fish baskets so they wouldn't slosh around in the pickup bed. All right. Well, let me show you these new batteries, give you a little bit of um, information. These are North Stars. These are as it says right here, ultra high performance absorbed glass mat batteries, AGMs. I wanted the best and I wanted uh, batteries that fit exactly like the ones that I had before. My last batteries lasted eight years. So I get life out of my batteries and you only will get life out of your batteries Number one, if you get batteries that are made to have long life. North Star batteries, here's the big deal. 99.99% pure lead. Made in America. See this? There's my model number. NSB AGM 24M. 840 cold cranking amps with 160 minute reserve capacity. All right, they got double posts here. You've got screw on posts and then you've got regular like clamp on posts. Of course, in the boat, I use this right here, these posts. So the whole idea right now is to have these last eight, 10 years too. These are pretty much, I guess you would just say, the top of the line you can get. North Star batteries. And you wanna go over to, um, for sure, if you're ever looking into getting some good batteries, you definitely wanna go over to um, the Battery Distributor Southeast, Inc. Over on Lane Avenue, North Lane Avenue off of I-10 in Jacksonville. Because they can set you up over there with these North Star batteries. Because see, here's one thing about AGMs. You want the absorbed glass mat batteries in your boat. Because these are high vibration batteries. These are batteries that can be mounted on their sides, that can be mounted upside down. It doesn't matter. And there's no leaking, there's no nothing. So, uh, like me, you know, my batteries are highly accessible in my boat. They're right down there in the bottom of the console. But for you folks who have boats that once you get the batteries in, it's like set them and forget them. You do not want to go with any other type of battery because a lot of boat manufacturers do not make boats that your batteries are just sitting there. You can get to them easy. Even in my boat, I gotta kinda sit down and go underneath in between the console and the leaning post. And they're in battery boxes, but still they're right there in front of me. And that's what I sort of like about it. I got a brand new battery, onboard battery charger coming. And whenever you're, of course, getting a battery charger, one thing you wanna make sure of if you're using AGM batteries is that that charger is for AGM batteries. But go over to um, Battery Distributor Southeast Inc. and ask them about chargers. They, those people over there will uh, let you know everything you need to know. And they'll give you the battery and they can set you up probably with a charger. That would be perfect for your application on your boat. So go, let's go ahead and uh, install these puppies. Here's how I'm getting mine up in the boat with a ladder. Well, 
this is sort of a uh, should be a basic type knowledge here but it's good to get yourself out a nice little uh, wire brush and before you do anything with these batteries get down in there and really clean the end of your your uh, battery cables and any other connections that are going to go on to the posts here of your uh, your North Star brand new North Star battery well on the Jetty Wolf here's where my batteries are located there's my console and there's the opening and there's usually a shelf right in here where I store all my tackle and right under that shelf there's my two battery boxes so they're never out of sight out of mind they're always right down there where I can get them only thing I have to do is take my tackle out and the shelf that goes right on in there so now I'm gonna squeeze myself in here between the leaning post right here and in there and that's my only trouble is getting my well largish kind of body in here it's not that tight but it just it would be nice if it wasn't as tight and here's my cables so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna clean off each side of these posts that go on here these rings and I'm gonna get these nice and clean while you're down here don't skimp on anything unless you just want to go ahead and have to do it again later I wouldn't call this a tight space for most people, but it is for me. I'm jammed up between the leaning post and I'm going into the console here, but it's not too bad. Believe me, I've owned boats and it was a lot worse. But when it's done right and you've got the right batteries, you won't be going in here very often. Don't forget to mark the uh, month and the year that you installed your batteries with the little handy uh, calendar that they have here where you just take a uh, tip of a pen knife like I have here and I'm marking out here's October I just pulled that out okay so I pulled out the little marker for October and I'm gonna put 14 for 2014 okay and there you go I'm gonna do that on both of my batteries Alrighty, well next up is figuring out which direction you want the posts. Do you want them on this side or this side? How do you want them? Once you figure out that, of where your battery cables used to be, now is when the strong part comes in. And we see if you've got the salt to put in the big battery in the boat. So let's see. I have not rehearsed this all right there's number one in the battery box you want to make sure which positive and negative where you want it it only makes sense, right, to put them back so everything fits to good, good with your cables. Here's my cable. It was on this side. There you see it right there? So it's going to fit right there. All right, same thing on this one. Here's my positive. It's already got this nice bend in it. It's used to being that way. So I will be putting the positive cable over on this side. Make sure you do that or you're going to be doing it a couple times. Here's the top of my battery box and what I want to do is I want to make sure that I route all the cables using these bump outs for the cables to stick out of. I want to make sure that I have the cables routed exactly the way they were before so everything's nice and tidy. With the supplied hardware that they give you right here with your wing nuts and your uh, washers go ahead and make up your connections but like I have here make sure that your battery switch and if you don't have one you ought to have one make sure it's in the off position and connect up all your cables
Well, I got all my cables all connected and everything should flow with the lids on my battery boxes. So let me button those up and we're good to go. There we go. Got the lids on, everything's secure. And the one thing you don't have to worry about North Star batteries is how you mount them. These AGMs are vibration proof, splash proof, but um, banging around proof. You're talking about a battery that you need to have for your boat for the sheer fact that they're the only ones that are going to last and give you the proper service that you need. And I will be going back in here tomorrow and putting on a onboard battery charger. It's always a good idea to have one for the sheer fact that when you put the boat up, you're going to be maintaining your batteries. And I think that is one reason why you'll get a lot of longevity out of your batteries is having an onboard charger and having the right one. Alrighty, well as I said, I'll be finishing up this tomorrow, this project, once I get the uh, battery charger. So I'll be back under this console one more time, okay, but I still want to send a big thanks to the battery distributor Southeast Incorporated over Lane Avenue in Jacksonville. Thanks for the help and thanks to Dave North Star Batteries for his help. Um, I'm going to get years and years of service out of these. You do everything right the first time with those uh, North Star AGMs, you won't be back in there anytime soon. Here's my uh, new charger. It's the uh, Dual Pro. And um, it's really different than my other one. Uh, from my last battery charger, this one is a whole different ball game. The only true five stage intuitive charging profile, the only charger ensuring the true 100% charge of your battery and extended life performance here, the only charger with true independent outputs and advanced LED uh, displays. So, um, Includes data view, data acquisition capability, providing battery charging history even. So, that's quite interesting. Here's the charger. This is the sportsman's charger right here. Here it's telling the percentage of each battery charged. Alright. Supposedly, <clears throat> this battery charger isn't one of these throwaways like my last one where it's just all epoxy filled and you can never fix it. This one's still waterproof, but this one's fixable if something goes wrong with it. Here's the whole deal. This was uh, $238. See what it says here? It's uh, the green charger. Totally repairable, not a throwaway. I went over here to get it. I went to the Battery Depot over on... Um, Ramona Boulevard on the west side of town off of Lane Avenue near where I was yesterday over at Battery Distributor Southeast Incorporated. This is just going south instead of going north. And they have another location over on Phillips Highway. So I went over there and uh, picked this up. You're not going to find like this charger over at um, West Marine. That's for damn sure. Here's all the batteries, the battery chargers they got. I wanted this one, which is the Dual Pro 2 15 amp bank. I had to settle for the Dual Pro 2 10 amp bank because I just don't have time to be waiting and waiting and waiting on getting these parts because they didn't have that one. They would have had to order it, which I could have got this off of Amazon and had it delivered tomorrow. But I need to be up and running for weekends. I can't be. I can't be goofing around here. I'm going to go put this in. I'm going to crawl under the console one more time. Definitely. Battery Depot. Two locations. Phillips Highway and Ramona Boulevard in Jacksonville, Florida. Look them up. Here I am. I'm done. Finally. 
Here's the charger right over here. I bolted it to the side of the console, but as you can see, it's got lights on right there. And it tells you the percentage of the charge and everything that it's doing. So I got everything all buttoned up. I got it charging. And then right now, I mean, all I do is I put back in my shelf on these brackets here, on both these brackets above the charger there. I have a shelf that goes in. I put the shelf in and I'm good to go. If you've got a dual battery system and you don't have an onboard charger, you might want to think about it because that's how your batteries get maintained and consult somebody like uh, Battery Distributor Southeast Inc. or go over to the Battery Depot and talk to them talk to an authority and I highly highly recommend North Star AGMs this is now a set it and forget it type of situation not that I ever forget about them because I can see them right here everything's buttoned up good these batteries got a lifespan of at least eight to ten years especially with the absolute correct charger on it and you'll be good to go when, you're, when you store your boat, plug it in. That's all you need to do. You're not going to be one of those people that I see at the boat ramp, and like I was myself uh, a few days ago, backing on in, and of course, guess what? The engine won't start because you're having battery problems. That's the first battery problem I've had, so don't be one of those people that are going fishing on a Saturday and you put the boat in the water and act surprised that your batteries have crapped out. Maintain them. This is it. I'm buttoning this up and I'm done.